So today I'm going to show you all my tanks and we're going to talk about it just a little bit right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech. Yes, I've got a lot of aquariums and uh, I want to just show them all to you. Uh, they're not all, I'm not really super proud of every single tank that I've got and I think if you've got a lot of aquariums at home you'll probably feel the same way but I'm going to show you everything. I want to talk about the stuff I want to do with the tanks that don't look so good and brag about the tanks that do look good. So let's get started right now. Okay so let's start downstairs with a 27 gallon cube by Marine Land. It is my attempt at a high-tech tank. There's actually quite a few fish in there. Uh, they're all hiding at the moment because the other day I tried to gather a bunch up to bring to the 55 upstairs and they don't quite trust me right now. <laughs> Basically, I went in there with a net to try and get some of these rummy nose out and they all shot to the very back of the tank. <laughs> There's about 15 rummy nose in there, but they kind of hide in the jungles until it's time to eat. Try to grab a fish out of the back of that tank. It's not going to happen. Not with a net anyway. Maybe I could trap it or something. Anyway, this tank has done really, really super well. Uh, I've added a few plants since the initial setup. If you go back and find the setup video for this, uh, this temple plant here, uh, I've got this on both sides. This one's kind of staying small and the other side's larger. And the rhodophilia there just kind of acts like an umbrella to keep the light down in this tank. So that's helped me a lot with the algae. Uh, you can barely even see the driftwood anymore, but it's a great tank to look at every day. Right here next to the cube, we have the 30 gallon. It's uh, It's been up for a really long time. I've had this tank for maybe uh, 12 years, I wanna say. And it's got some sort of signs of old tank syndrome. Things just aren't growing in there the way they used to. Lots of algae I'm not really gonna deal with. Uh, big scratches across the top of the glass. It's That part really sucks, but what doesn't suck are these really beautiful thread fin rainbows that I've got in there. Really love these fish. Uh, they're quite beautiful and uh, I'll probably, if I can, move them to another aquarium eventually. In fact, what I would like to do is break this tank down and replace it with a new fluval edge when it comes out. So I'll probably put them in a bigger tank to kind of give them some that tank time to settle in before I switch over. Another tank that'll be going down soon is the 55. It's been up for a long time also, well over a decade. Uh, right now it's a holding ground for some of my plants and some big fish and some small fish. Uh, I'm gonna eventually move all these guys upstairs to the 55 or to some other tanks, but for now they're just kind of hanging out in here. Eventually I'd like to redo the carpet in my living room, so I wanna tear this down and then put an even bigger tank there. At least that's the plan. Of course, that is completely up to my wife. <laughs> right next to the 55, we have the Fluval Edge 12 gallon. This tank is doing really well. Uh, I haven't done much of anything with it. Uh, just kind of clean the glass every now and then. It's got the same plants that it had in it before. I've got like two white clouds and a betta in there. And uh, it's pretty neat. You know, I had toyed around with taking this down, but I've decided to leave it up. I may do a rescape on it really soon uh, just to do it just to kind of mix things up right next to the fluval edge we have the 12 gallon now i recently rescaped this in the video 12 gallon rescape and you'll also see it in the don't give up on baby tears video now the baby tears went crazy i trimmed them back except for this little bush you'll see right there on the right those baby tears just grow like crazy in this tank, along with everything else. The really super bright light that make it almost difficult to photograph really has grown the plants well. I don't add fertilizers or CO2. This is just the, the substrate that I added when I set up the tank. It's got a ton of cherry red shrimp in there. They love this tank. I've also got some ember tetras. I've got about 18 of them, but they like to congregate back in the corner. Uh, I talked to Rachel the other day and she offers some suggestions to kind of help coax them out a little bit. I'm going to be trying that and only time will tell if that works. But I really would like to bring those little guys out because they look really cool swimming around. In the kitchen here we have one of my newest aquascapes, the Fluval Spec 5 Gallon. It's done very, very well. 
Uh, I really like the way the plants are growing in. The Monte Carlo down across the bottom is doing good. Uh, the Nubis is doing great. I think I like this light okay. I The blue light kind of bothers me on the aquarium upstairs, but on the five gallon it seems to be pretty decent. I really like the way things are growing in there. I'm ready to add some fish though. I really want to put some fish in here. I'm trying to decide what to do and uh, how I'm going to get them in there, but very soon I'll be adding fish to this tank. Look forward to seeing that soon. Okay, so upstairs in my bedroom, I have what's technically my biggest tank. It's the 56 gallon column by Marineland. I've got a 65 watt compact fluorescent bulb above it, and it does great. It does pretty good. Uh, this tank, again, has been up for a really long time. I don't even bother fighting algae in it anymore. I don't add CO2 or any nutrients or anything like that. I just kind of let it go. Uh, this gets the 20% weekly water change and that sort of thing. But it is home to some of my biggest fish. This is one of my favorite big fish. Now, he's pretty shy. You know, sometimes you gotta coax him out from behind the log. But once he figures out that you don't have a net in your hand and you're not there to really mess with him, he'll come out and let you take a good look. Now, he dictates what goes in this tank. <laughs> This tank can't have anything that'll fit in this guy's mouth, and this guy's mouth is quite large. So he really is the boss of that tank. Uh, along with him, I've got some rainbows. Uh, I used to have six, I'm kind of down to three. I don't want to add any more. I really like to get a really huge 75 gallon before I try doing rainbows again, just so they have a lot more room to run around. Right next to the bed, I've got the original Fluval Spec 5 gallon. There are no fish in this. It's really there just to kind of grow out these uh, Java fern and Anubis. It's really nice, it's really quiet, but onto the studio. We covered this tank a lot last week, so I'm not gonna talk about it forever. It's been doing really, really well. I'm real impressed with the setup for this. I encourage you to go back and check out that video because this is working out really, really well. Now, you might be able to tell I've got a light from the Fluval Flora on this tank and it's perfect and I love the color as opposed to the color of the new lights for the new spec but let's go take a look at it right now now the new spec is also doing good it's technically a dirted tank it's got dirt under there uh, set it up just like I did the 55 that we'll see in a second uh, the new beta that I got is doing great he's really coloring up and and looking really interesting he's got a lot more blue on him than he did when I first brought him home uh, you can tell in the back there I've added a few plants to kind of help balance out this aquascape. And uh, the plants on the bottom are doing okay. They're not doing as good as they are in the 55. I literally pulled the same plants out of this and I put it in the 55 and they're doing great. So this makes me want to change the light up just a little bit. So I may do that same compact fluorescent light from the flora on this tank. But I haven't decided yet. Maybe time will tell. I'll give this light another couple of weeks. So right across the way and next to the most awesome chair ever is my Fluval Flora. Now this is a really basic tank again. I uh, haven't done much other than what I did in the setup. It gets no CO2, it gets no extra nutrients or anything like that from liquid fertilizers. Just the fish and the fish food. Uh, the betta that's in there is doing really good. He, I brought him out of that spec 2.6 gallon and put him in there with some other guys and everybody's pretty happy. Right next to the flora is the 10 gallon. Now this is the 10 gallon that had the cyanobacteria problem that I recently beat. I was gonna break this tank down and now I just really love it. <laughs> I think it looks actually really, really nice. Uh, I decided those epistogrammas that I bought, well, unfortunately the male died. So I've put the female in here. I've kind of got it set up for her to breed if I can find a male to put in there. More on that soon. Now my last tank in the studio is the dirted tank, the 55. It was my first dirted tank and it was a really, really interesting build. I've never had this much success from a planted tank this early. I mean, the plants immediately took hold and just started to grow like crazy. Uh, the DIY light bar that I built, there's a video for that if you go back in my videos from last year. Uh, it's doing great, especially in conjunction with those other two lights that I added to kind of spread the light out a bit. 
I'm able to grow plants in here. I've never been able to grow in other tanks. Uh, there's no CO2. There's no liquid fertilizers. This is just the plants growing in the dirt along with the light, and it's been great. That plant on the lower left is a Vesuvius sword. I've never seen it grow this well in any other tank. Uh, a lot of plants, basically every plant that I planted in this thing is doing really, really good. I've even just thrown other plants in just to see how they do. Uh, here and there, I've got some odd bits of moss and some Anubias and all kinds of other things just kind of floating around in there. It's become sort of an experiment tank. It's like, what will it grow? And the answer is just about anything. The combination of the bright light and all the nutrients from there just make it fantastic. Now there is a tremendous amount of snails. There are snails all over this thing. I'm just gonna let that go for a while and I'm gonna add something in eventually that likes to eat those snails and that'll take care of that. Uh, oh, and the, any sword I put in there seems to do great. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this runner full of swords. I'm gonna have to probably give those away. So that's something else I'm gonna have to do before long. This is a really, really cool tank. I'm glad and relieved that it came out as well as it did. And definitely, definitely makes me wanna do more dirted tanks because this was just amazing. So back in my office, I've got the original fluval flora. I've taken all the fish out because I'm not in this office a whole lot anymore. So I brought all those fish home and I put them in the 55. The only thing that's in there now is an Amano shrimp and plants. Incidentally, I shot this whole scene with a new camera I'm gonna tell you about in just a second. We just went over 13,000 subscribers here recently. That was pretty cool. This channel's slowly, slowly growing and I really appreciate all your support. Now, next week for the vlog, yeah, if you saw last week, I got a drone. Well, this week, I've got another little component. It's the camera from the drone, but it fits on this camera mount. It's a gimbaled camera mount called the Osmo. Osmo? Anyway, it's pretty neat. So next week what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this thing then I'm going to go to the aquarium store and shoot a whole bunch of saltwater tanks. So it'll be kind of a saltwater special along with the unboxing for this new gadget that I have. That's all I have for you today. Follow your bliss. Clean those tanks. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Does anybody believe I was actually working this in? Needed something to like. No, 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 no.